Welcome to Big Fat Fitness, my name is Noah, and today we're gonna to talk about who works harder, who's more successful, extroverts or introverts. Now we are gonna keep this topic of conversation narrowed down to a few basic rules. Number one, we are gonna be talking more so than anything in the realm of fitness. Sure, we can talk about who makes the most money or who has the happiest lifestyle, how you even freaking measure that with data, I have no idea. I did see a couple interesting things I thought were worth mentioning. It did say on average, introverts tend to make more money than extroverts. And if you look at the list of like the top 10 most wealthy people on the planet, most of them are naturally introverts. But extroverts are more likely to be better leaders, whether that's in business, as an entrepreneur, a manager, or the head of a family. Introverts can stay focused on a goal for longer periods of time with extended time horizons, while extroverts typically find ways to network their way through the problem to solve it faster. One big asterisk I need to place here before I start talking about this though, there are no pure extroverts or pure introverts. Everyone has a little bit of introvert and a little bit of extrovert within them. You are not one or the other. You are both just at different levels. And it's brought up both by nature and nurture, you know, what your DNA is telling you to do, but also how you were raised. But with that out of the way, let's dive into some of the basic traits of an introvert, then we'll dive into some of the basic traits of an extrovert, and then we'll compare pros and cons for both. And then finally answer the question, who's gonna be more successful on a fitness journey? Starting with the introverts. Three of the biggest traits that introverts have when it comes to fitness is that they are independent, they can take things on themselves and self-motivate, and they usually stay pretty humble. Now, why is independence so important? So independence and being able to self-motivate is absolutely massive because no matter what your fitness goal is, weight loss, weight gain, muscle building, training for a sport, trying to dial in on your diet, whatever it is, you're going to need to self-motivate. There are gonna be days where you don't wanna do anything and the days that you do are the biggest wins you'll have along the entire journey. Introverts typically are better at that. They really rely on intrinsic motivation as opposed to extrinsic motivation and that can take them very, very far. They can take on big challenges by themselves, and that's what they prefer to do. And they're also usually pretty humble about it. You don't really see introverts bragging on social media about their physique or a lift they just hit, a PR in the gym. They like to keep that stuff to themselves, and that's pretty awesome. Now, let's move over to extroverts. The strength of an extrovert is that they bring out a team mentality. They tend to elevate the people around them, making them better, and they often learn through teaching. Extroverts are more likely to have a we're all in this together sort of mindset. And it can sound a little funky when you're talking about personal weight loss journeys or personal fitness journeys in general, but having an accountability system like friends, family, friends at the gym, or even you know hiring a coach or having some sort of online community to be a part of, that's a massive win for a ton of people that need a little bit more of extrinsic motivation. Extroverts really shine when they are counted on by other people. I'm there for you, you are there for me. I'm here to spot you on the bench press, you're here to spot me on the bench press. We, we motivate each other. That's where extroverts shine. Extroverts are also much more likely to post their stuff on social media, whatever journey it may be. Any chance they can get to just make it a team effort, make it about other humans, and make it more of a community, that's what they're gonna do. And they also tend to learn through teaching. A lot of extroverts, not all of them, often want to help other people just as much as they want to help themselves, sometimes more so than they want to help themselves. That's why a lot of personal trainers, fitness coaches, YouTubers, influencers are all extroverts. They make themselves better by teaching other people what they already know. And I'm one of these people. I learn through teaching and it's such a hard thing to explain, but oh my goodness, is it real. Now let's talk about some of the pros and the cons but that each of these have. Also, giant, giant disclaimer timeout here for a second. I'm making some huge generalizations here and I wanna make it very, very clear. Just because if you think you're an extroverted person, that doesn't mean you automatically fall into these categories and vice versa if you're an introvert. I'm not placing you in these categories and it's not by law. These are giant generalizations. This is just some patterns that I've noticed in people that I know and there's a little bit of data on the internet supporting it. But don't think everything I say in this video is absolute law. Each individual person is their own person. Like I said, you are not one or the other. You're both just at different levels. Introverts, pros and cons when it comes to fitness. Pros, like I said earlier, introverts are going to be able to self-motivate and that is one of the biggest factors of long-term success on a fitness journey. Introverts also keep things to themselves. They are not oversharing things about their journey. They're not talking about stuff they're gonna do. They're just keeping it to themselves and letting their work do the talking. 
That's huge, both for your mental psyche and for how you are perceived. And er introverts typically don't complain very often. People who are more introverted usually like to internalize that stuff, which maybe they can take it out in the gym, but a lot of my introverted friends don't complain too much. Now, there's a couple exceptions and you know who you are, but those are some pretty massive pros. Now let's go over to the cons. Introverts sometimes have a hard time asking questions and this could be a huge hindrance. One of my favorite quotes of all time, a man who asks a question is a fool for five minutes. A man who never asks is a fool for a lifetime. That is one of my favorite quotes ever and it applies perfectly to this scenario. If you are too scared or have too big of an ego to ask questions, to try to get better or find a mentor, have someone take you under your wing, you are missing out on free game. You are making yourself worse by doing that. And that's typically a trait that a lot of introverts have. Introverts also tend to bottle things up a little bit. If they're dealing with something that's frustrating them within fitness or anything else, it's usually gonna just get bottled up and they're not gonna really know how to properly vent it out. Again, like I said earlier, you can really release some emotions on the bench press and on the iron and that's great and all, but you don't wanna be stuck in TikTok edit, sad, hood up, you know, headphones on land for the rest of your life. Sam Sulek edits are great, but they only get you so far. You gotta talk to somebody, especially if you're a man, talk to somebody. And the third problem is sometimes introverts actually care way more than they think they do about other people's opinions. Now, this may sound like a bit of a weird one, but when you are not naturally talkative to other people, you will just have to kind of guess what other people's opinions are you. Now, ultimately, you shouldn't care what anyone else's opinions are, but when you're not communicating with them, sometimes people can make assumptions. If I was an introvert and I saw somebody at the gym, I just have to assume what I think they think about me. And it may sound like nothing, but when you are constantly just thinking what if scenarios and you don't have actual context to how others feel around you, it can kind of send you insane. Introverts are usually care a little bit more about their own image. Again, completely generalizing here. If that's not you, please don't attack me in the comments or do whatever. Now let's move on to the extroverts. Some pros for the extroverts on a fitness journey. They are always going to ask for help. They're always going to ask questions. Extroverts are usually really, really good at finding teachers and mentors. They are going to be the first people to hire a personal trainer. They're going to be first people to ask questions from a veteran at the gym. They're going to be the first people to ask questions on social media. And guess what? People help them and they get better because of it. Very simple concept. Number two, they openly talk about the hard days. Now, there's a fine line to be driven here. There's sometimes that people complain 24-7 about every tiny little gripe in their lives. Please don't be those people. We're adults here. Come on. But when you're really having a hard time, whether it's, again, something connected to fitness or otherwise, extroverts are gonna have a lot easier of a time voicing those. And a stressed body leads to a clear mind, but sometimes we need to take it another step further and actually voice what's going on in our heads. Again, this is not just a fitness channel, this is a mental health channel. If you're getting anything from this, whether you're extroverted or introverted, talk to people. Voice your opinions, voice your feelings. If you're trying to, if you're going through something Talk to somebody, even if it's me. Shoot me a fucking DM or drop a comment. I don't care. If you feel like you have no one, I promise you, you do. Now, the last trait for extroverts is that they're really good at motivating others. They can hype people up in the gym. If they're a part of a sports team, people rally around the extroverts. They create a sense of brotherhood or camaraderie. That's important. That is phenomenal for the human psyche and for your mental health. And it will just make fitness so much more fun. And when fitness is fun, you never have to worry about getting out of shape because you enjoy doing it. Huge hack. Now let's wrap it up with some cons. Extroverts have difficulty self-motivating. Like I said, a lot of extroverts, extroverts get their extrinsic motivation. They need other things outside of themselves to motivate them. And that could be a very, very big no-no. Number two, huge problem. Talking before acting. Extroverts do this all the time. I used to be massively guilty of this. Don't talk about it. Do it first, talk about it later. Let your work do the talking. When you talk about, oh, I'm gonna do a weight loss journey, oh, I'm gonna start going to the gym, that means nothing, and that provides you with a false sense of productivity in your head. It's not productive. You think you're being productive, but you're not. And then finally, extroverts get distracted easier. There's more people, there's more variables, there's more distractions, point blank period. Extroverts are more likely to miss the gym or miss a workout because something else is going on. There's just more variables at play. Now, with all that being said, honestly, I don't think there's much of a clear winner between introverts and extroverts. Honestly, I am an extroverted person, but I have become more introverted with time. Like I said, we are both just at different levels and those levels change with time. As you mature and, and become more of yourself, you're gonna figure that out on your own. But here's the best advice I could give you whether you are extroverted, introverted, or somewhere in between. 
I think they call it an ambivert. Figure out two things. What could you be doing to improve and what are you already good at? If you're good with people, use the people around you. Don't use them, but I'm saying create a network, have friends, have people you can rely on, create a community. If you like kind of self-motivating and staying un under your own wing, that's great. Lean into that. Lock the fuck in and take care of business yourself. But there's a balance. You're going to have weaknesses. Attack those weaknesses and become a well-rounded version of yourself. I promise it's the best way to discover who you truly are as a person. So that's my video on extroverts versus introverts. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. I had a really good time talking and thinking about this. I'm definitely more of an extroverted person myself, but I would love to hear more about your guys' thoughts on just this entire topic in the comments below. That's everything I have for you guys today. If you're new here, drop a subscription, drop a like, drop a comment. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Keep it simple, big fella.